Hello guys, uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, today I would like to review the code of the application that we built on uh, .NET 5. If you have not seen my previous video, please click in the link uh, on the description of the video. Uh, so then you will see the overview of the application that we are going to build. So you see here the code, uh, which is uh, from .NET, and you can also see the home page of the application. Uh, so let me show you some of the file and folder that uh, we use to build this uh, build this application. So here you can see uh, we have data access. Uh, for you know for the database then this is for list of the class that we use to store information of the products and the customers so and here are the web application which we build using you know embassy so here you can see models controller and also the folder for the view uh, all right so let me tell you what else we have here so if i see controller uh, classes here right uh, you can see the controller class will have information about the uh, accounts or admins related all those uh, functionality will be from this controller classes we can see we have register function then we have here uh, login you know, and then also list for user and you know to edit user and all those other uh, functionality that is related to account would be under the account control then we have card control this will allow you to keep information about the card the user card what they are uh, buying and all those things right and then we have category control so I, I show you the category is right there so under the category control we have you know the list of the category and then here we can delete edit and do other steps there so here we have the home controller as well the home from home controller i uh, you know we can control home page we can uh go to details you know do log out logging all the other stuff that we can do from the home page we can also create we can add items from you know uh to the cart so this is the home controller then we have inventory the inventory box we can keep uh count of the products that we have you see it said the quantity every time we sell products to customer uh it would deduct from the quantity and it will keep the light track of inventory then here we're going to have also the order list for the admin admin can see how many orders they are receiving you know how many orders is sending so also you see you can uh, print it you can uh, export excel file uh, you know you can also search from item you know whoever you can use all those column to search item and all those things you can go also create inputs from there okay so now we see we also have order controller that uh, how many orders we are receiving to update and all those so here we have product controller product controller means you know from the product we can do edit create and all those things and we have precipitator as means uh here it will keep the account information how many user account you have with the customer account you know it will list it down all the customer account then you know how much money you are they owe to the business and then you know their transaction everything will be keep here and then uh, we have uh, temporary inventory uh, classes this will 
uh, you know, uh, the first it will detect and keep them, and then you know, uh, it will store in the temporary database all the inventory, and then once operation done, you know, it will remove from here, and then it will update the live inventory class from there. All right, so this is all uh, we have here.